Voilà. So the, the, my first question is, um, <coughs> what do you feel is the, the real meaning of what we call the Arab Spring of 2011? You know, there are different, there are, there are several springs, not one. Uh, the aspirations in the Arab world are the same. The problems are similar, but the manner in which this change will take place will be different from one country to the other. We see that it is already different. In Tunisia it's something, in Egypt it's another thing. In Syria, it is a totally different thing, and so on. So, you know, you know we've got to keep, it's not one spring, it is uh, Will it converge into something regional and Arab and so on? I don't know. Uh, the, will the Arab League revive because of the Arab Spring? Uh, they have now a new Secretary General, who is a very, very good man, and the previous one was, was very good as well. But this is a new guy who well, is very highly respected. Uh, will will that uh, you know? We are, are we going to have a little bit more cooperation and so on? And how are we going to organize our relationship with the rest of the world? Europe, in particular, they are, they are our closest neighbors in the north. We have bilaterally a great deal of things uh, with Europe. But whereas Europe is more or less united. We are not. So Europe treats with each of us uh, separately. I think it would be much easier for us and probably much more profitable if we dealt with Europe uh, in, in an organized manner. Since the Arab Spring was, was basically always localized, uh, mm -hmm. it wasn't kind of an, an Arab national uprising, yeah. it was a local yeah. mm -hmm. uprising, uh, it will be difficult to say what should change in the Arab world in order to come to to accommodate uh, the people, but are there like one or two things that you think that every government, every country should uh, yeah. do yeah. to make people more happy in their country? Um, you know, probably this, uh, the, I, I would put two things uh, ahead of everything else. One is corruption. Rightly or wrongly, people think that a lot of uh, their resources are being wasted and stolen. Uh, and I, uh, there is a lot, maybe it's a little bit exaggerated, but there is a lot of truth in that. Uh, so, corruption is... Uh, the other thing is the rule of law. You see, the, the problem is you need uh, a citizen, is a citizen if he knows what his rights or her rights and responsibilities are and he or she knows that nobody is going to take that away from her or from him. So uh, corruption and the rule of law, these are the, which means really justice. Uh, and democracy? That comes in the third place. Uh, what do you mean by democracy? Yeah. Uh, I think democracy is uh, that uh, you know the government and uh, the elite uh, are not thieves, and and the citizen has rights. This is what democracy means. That that was one of the things that came out of the Pew research a couple of years ago. That uh, those were the, some of the the top. Priorities of, yeah. of uh, yeah, I, citizens. I haven't seen this research, but uh, this is what I see traveling in. Uh, well, in, in Europe, a lot of people still think that uh, what what really motivates people in the Arab world is um, is Islam, is uh, kind of a conservative uh, ethical uh, position. Would you say that those two are contradictory uh, assessments, or no, no? I think you know definitely. Uh, you know, what is happening is that uh, in many places uh, people have the impression that those who stand uh, closest to these two things, uh, clean uh, attitude of the government, uh, no corruption and justice is, is political Islam. 
And this, as I told you, it's not because really of political Islam itself, it's because of the non-Islamic uh, who haven't been, uh, you know, who, who, have, who have disappointed. Uh, I mean, look, in Tunisia, I mean, I really don't know. You had 100 uh, secular parties, 100. Uh, and one Islamic party. So the name recognition, mm -hmm. uh, you know, people want to vote, say, ah, this is a Nahda. And the West has given them a great deal of publicity by saying how horrible they are. Uh, and the others, who are they? Uh, nobody knew who, who they were. I think if you had two or three parties, the name recognition would be better. I'm, I think on what some Tunisian friends tell me that Nahda would have done uh, less uh, spectacularly well than they did. You are not coming from the background of political Islam. How, how do you feel about the fact that after this year of turbulence, they seem to be the winning force in the Arab world, in Egypt, in Tunisia, yeah. in other places, yeah. Libya they, even? Yeah. You know, in Algeria, we, uh, we refused uh, to accept them, and we paid a very, very heavy price. Uh, you know, until now, I'm not sure whether we were right or not. Uh, but definitely, from what I see now, they have gained droit de cité. I, don't, I think now it is very, very difficult, probably impossible, to just keep them out. And by the way, in Algeria, they are not out. You have two or three Islamic parties who are in parliament and everything, and in government, in the government. Uh, so uh, I think they have gained this droit de cité. Uh, I heard Ranouche the other day on television say that, you know, we're, we're here for one year on this uh, assembly, and people are going to judge us. Uh, this is probably what is going to happen. Then you have this uh, Turkish experience, uh, which seems to be doing reasonably well, although you have a lot of uh, secular Turks who say, no, 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 these are horrible people and so on and so on. But they are doing extremely well. Turkey hasn't done uh, as well uh, for a very long time. So I think you know these are very interesting times. Uh, political Islam in the Arab world is there to stay. Uh, now it depends on them, but also it depends on the non-Islamic political forces. How mature they are going to be, how appealing they are going to be. Uh, you know, every, there is everything to play for. Uh, so. From this point of view, the Arab Spring is, is an interesting development. Is it a revolution? I don't know. I don't really know yet. And I don't think anybody knows. We'll see. It, it is definitely a fundamental change. Uh, is it going to be a revolution or less than that? We'll but see. did it make you happy? Uh, yes, of course it does. It makes me happy that our region is moving. You know, we looked like being asleep, lethargic, uh, leaving it to a small uh, elite uh, to do whatever they like, and we were, you know, just uh, looking after our private interest. But you know, we are interested in the city again, as as, as masses. As people as, uh, uh, as uh, the, the, the civil society and so on, this is, this is certainly welcome. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.